We often rush forward to the future, thinking that happiness, peace, or fulfillment lies somewhere just over the next hill. If we could just get there, all would be well. And yet somehow we're never quite there. The future is an elusive cloud always slipping from our grasp. We can only ever find fulfillment and joy in this moment for it's all we ever have. So to help you slow down and appreciate this moment, we have a beautiful new shawl pattern for you today called Andante by Jane Vincelis. Andante is a musical tempo that means to play a composition moderately slowly. So this shawl is designed to remind you that knitting is not a race, it is a process to be enjoyed. This pattern consists mainly of garter stitch, the good old classic standby stitch. Garter stitch is snuggly and squishy and it really produces such a delightful fabric. And this shawl has some stunning features that I think you will love. First, I would love to talk about the shape. You're gonna create this stunning wearable crescent shape using triangles created by German short rows and the shape is just really gonna hug your shoulders and drape so beautifully secondly these adorable ribs are too fabulous so even though your colors are running this way the ribs stretch across going the opposite direction which I think is so cool and now for the color this shawl is so unique not only do you get this gorgeous color shift from tip to tip but also you get this beautiful subtle fade this direction down to the bottom of the shawl due to the short rows it's so gorgeous we use four colors of our new and limited edition signature fingering yarn it's a really unique yarn because we had the linen in the yarn dyed our signature aqua blue color and that runs throughout all of the shades in the collection which really helps to tie all those colors together you can download the pattern and get the yarn at expressionfiberarts.com and while you're there please go ahead and sign up for email updates for weekly free knit and crochet pattern. If you would love to win four skeins of our signature fingering yarn, just make sure that you're subscribed to our YouTube channel and go ahead and comment below letting me know a fun or new interesting crafting technique that you've learned this year. So to help you along your shawl journey, I'm gonna be showing you how to work rows one through 20, which do include the German short rows, and they are super easy once you know how to work them. We're gonna start by casting on six stitches, one, two, three, four, five, and six. For row one, it's nice and easy. You're just gonna knit each stitch. So just six knit stitches, three, four, five, and six. Go ahead and turn and let's start on row two. Row two, again, very easy. You're just gonna repeat row one. So again, you're just knitting every stitch all the way across four, five, and six. Now if you're switching colors, you're gonna join color B here. That's up to you. I'm gonna continue on with the same color. For row three, we're gonna do the same thing. Just knit each stitch. So there you go. And again, row four, we're gonna repeat the same thing. And we're gonna get into the German short rows soon. And if you do love German short rows, you can check out our other stunning pattern called the Sweet Gum Cardigan. It's also by Jane Vincelis. It's a beautiful cardigan using sport weight yarn and a beautiful marled look. So now for row five. So this one's a little different. We're gonna go ahead and start with a knit five. One, two, three, four, five, and then we're gonna yarn over and finish with a knit one. For row six, we're gonna knit four. One, two, three, four, and that is it for row six. So you're gonna go ahead and turn because we're doing our short rows, and we're gonna start on row seven. So you're gonna make a double stitch. To do that, go ahead and slide that stitch from your left needle over onto your right needle. And then this is unusual in knitting, but you're actually gonna pull your yarn up to create what looks like two stitches. We're counting it as one stitch, but that is a double stitch. So finish off that row with a knit three, two, and three. Now for row eight, and you are turning between each row, of course, you're gonna knit three. One, two, three. And that is it for row eight. You're gonna turn and you're gonna make another double stitch. So for row nine, make your double stitch by sliding that stitch from your left needle onto your right needle 
and pulling it up to create what looks like two stitches, but we're counting it as one stitch. Then knit one, yarn over, knit one. Then you're gonna see for row 10 it says to knit eight, but it looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 stitches because we have two of those double stitches in there. That's why we're counting them as one. So go ahead and knit. So knit the first stitch, stitch, knit the second stitch, the third one, and then you're gonna see we have our little double stitches here. So you're gonna knit those together, so like this knit those two little strands together because we're counting it as one stitch. So there, we've knitted four. Here's another one, so knit those together. Five, six, seven, and eight. For row 11, we're just gonna repeat row one. So again, just knitting every stitch. This is why garter stitch is so nice. Just lots of lovely knit stitches, super easy. Go ahead and turn, let's work row 12. Again, we're just going to repeat row one. So just knit every stitch all the way across. And then you'll go ahead and turn again. For row 13, we're gonna start with a knit seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then you're gonna work a yarn over and a knit one. And the yarn overs are creating this nice little eyelet look on the edge. Go ahead and turn, and for row 14, you're just gonna knit five. One, two, three, four, five, and that is it. Go ahead and turn, and for row 15, you're gonna make your double stitch. So slip this stitch from your left needle onto your right needle, pull it up, so it looks like two stitches. Then you're just gonna knit these final four stitches. Two, three, and four. For row 16, we're gonna start with a knit four. One, two, three, and four. Then we're gonna stop, go ahead and turn for row 17. For row 17, we're gonna make our double stitch. So slip that stitch from your left needle to your right needle and pull up to create what looks like two stitches. Then knit two, yarn over, knit one. Go ahead and turn for row 18, and we're gonna knit 10. So go ahead and start knitting, and be looking for those double stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, and here's one of our little double stitches so knit those two little legs together. Boop, just like that, so that counts as one. So that's five that we've knitted. Here's another one, knit the two legs together. So that's six, and then seven, eight, nine, and 10. So hopefully that helps you keep your stitch counts correct. For row 19, we're just gonna repeat row one. So just knit each stitch all the way across. Just remember when counting your stitches that you're not working twice into those double stitches or you will end up with too many stitches. For row 20, same thing. You're just gonna repeat row one by knitting every stitch all the way across. A nice, lovely, easy row. So that is how you get started with this shawl. And you can already see the adorable little curved shape taking place, as well as the beautiful little eyelet edge. And that really is how easy it is to work the German short rows. So if you can work that section of the shawl, you should be golden to work the rest of it. The pattern does include written instructions as well as charts for you. So we hope you enjoy knitting it. Remember to enjoy this beautiful day, my friend, and know that ultimate peace and happiness truly come from within. So happy knitting this week. I will see you next week with another beautiful pattern. Bye for now.